Welcome to another episode of Weird Beard Fishing, y'all. So today is something completely, completely different. I'm going to be wet sanding and buffing the boat. So, I am just going to test a small spot first. I'm going to test right here where this uh, gam old gambler sticker used to be. I'm going to test from here around to the back and see how well this is gonna come out before I actually go ahead and I do the whole boat. Um, this thing is pretty dang oxidized and it's gonna definitely take some work. I mean, as you guys can tell, this is pretty bad. So I'll go over each step that I'm gonna do. But as of right now, I've got the power washer out. Where is it? Yeah, right there. I've got the power washer out and uh, I'm just gonna power wash the whole thing and then I'm gonna start doing wet sanding. I'll start with 1,000 grit and then I'll do 2,000 grit and then after that I'm gonna buff it. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after each stage. Let's get into it. All right guys, so a little bit of an update. I had to run the store to get some more compound and I let my wife sand while I was gone. Um, she dry sanded it. Yeah, so I don't know how well this is gonna turn out. It might just be kind of ruined. I honestly don't know. I'm gonna continue wet sanding it and see if I can get it as smooth as I can. And I'll buff it out with the compound and then the polisher and hopefully all these scratches come out. If not, oh well. It's an old boat. It is what it is. See what happens from here. All right, so I went ahead and I wet sanded this thing for a while. This is the result. Big head shadow in the way. But now, see, it's just a light, it's a light swirl. I was able to get quite a bit of it out. It feels smooth to the touch. I mean, other than right here in this crevice, I can't get very well. And that's where the worst oxidation is. I'm going to see if hopefully the polishing wheel will actually, polish slash cutting wheel will actually take a lot of this off. So let's get this thing polished up. I mean, I'm not doing it in the best of conditions seeing as it's sunny and it's hot, but this is the time that I have to do it. So that's why I'm doing just a portion of it to see how it's going to turn out and see if I really just want to go ahead and do it around the boat, all the way around the boat, or if I'm just not going to care and keep using it and abusing it. Let's see what this thing looks like afterwards. Thank you. 
did the first round of buffing, I've came to the conclusion I'm definitely gonna have to wait until it's not sunny and hot because this stuff dries up way too quick. But man, did it get shiny. I tell you what, I never thought I was gonna see that boat like this. This is what the boat was. Super, super faded. You can almost hear it. Then you come over here, nothing. It got way shinier and I haven't even polished it yet. But look, you can see in the camera, boom. You can see the shine from the sun, right? But as soon as you get past this tape right here, boom, nothing. There ain't nothing there. So I'm definitely gonna have to wet sand and do the whole boat. It's gonna take me forever. And I'll, I'll include cute ah, end. I'm gonna include a few stages as I go through the whole boat. All right, guys, so just want to give you guys a little bit of an update on how the boat looks. I finally finished one side. I went ahead and I sanded it, I buffed it, polished it, and then I ceramic coated it. I think it looks a whole lot better because this thing used to look like just straight sandpaper and that kind of sucked. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now. haven't done the other side yet but this looks I mean a whole lot better kind of hard to see on this side but I did, did a little bit on the bottom too but it is a giant giant difference I mean look at that reflection now I'm gonna show you guys the other side which I've only wet sanded I haven't polished or buffed yet and this is what it used to look like see how dull that is no reflection, no nothing. See right there, you can see the sun. It just, and then boom, I started to do some to it, but it started raining earlier, so I gave up on this side. And I went ahead and I just finished the other side. Boom, crazy difference. But I just had to prove that you could take a boat that's really, really oxidized, really, really bad, and you can make it look good again. Sometimes you just gotta take the effort and put some effort into it, and it'll come out good. Till the next time, I'll catch you on the next episode of Weird Beard Fishing.